Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's DJ. Mods are out, and we've got 21 new and updated mods to talk about today. For all platforms, we got 17 new and two updates, and for PC and Mac, we got two new. I make mod review videos every time mods are released on the official in-game mod hub, so get subscribed if you're new, that way you never miss it. First up today, new mods for all platforms, we've got the John Deere 4755-4955 from AAA Modding. Now, slot counts are pretty good. If you go with the US versions, either one, they're gonna be, I think it's, uh, was it nine? Yeah, nine slots, and then 11 slots if you go with the EU versions. Let's jump in and check out some customization. So, starting with the 4755 US, four wheel drive version we got 190 horsepower power shift transmission 386 liters of fuel 21 miles per hour max speed and weighs almost 10 tons a little heavy as far as configurations we got standard front weight that's going to be a thousand kilogram front weight if you want to add that on wheel brands we got lizard i think these are meant to be firestone but lizard they have to be trelleborg michelin continental and back into it as far as beacons go you could do with beacon or not it's going to be on the left hand side regardless of what you do attachers we have standard you could do a k80 which i believe is going to change up the back a little bit yep we could throw a front three point on there if you want to i know a lot of people don't like to do that with this tractor you don't have to if you don't want to but you've got plenty of options just in case front loaders yes so we got the uh, 6430R, that's going to be your John Deere front loader. Make sure you're using that one. Make it work perfectly. And then your engine setup. So we got the 4755 with 190, and then the 4955 with 228 horsepower. And of course, you got your license plates on there as well. Customization is going to be exactly the same for the two-wheel drive version as well. You just won't have those front wheel options on there. And then making our way over into the EU version, you know what? We'll show off the two-wheel drive version for the EU version. Uh, same power, same engine setup, same everything like that. But here, we're going to have some different customization. We still have that front weight, but it is a different uh, setup. Wheels, we have Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental. So uh, no firestone i guess no lizard tire there uh as far as uh, of course wheels we got all kinds of different ones in there beacon left or nothing attachers yep you could do that if you want to you do have your front loader as well and then the engine is exactly the same this is a pretty sweet setup so if you guys have been waiting for this or if you want to use a modified version of what we've got base game definitely check this out your next new one from all platforms is gonna be scooter yeah <laughs> from casting 18 we've got the e-scooter here 20 horsepower at least there you could do a, a tuned version for 30 horsepower i would be absolutely terrified to drive a 30 horsepower scooter no thank you uh cvt transmission i don't know how that would work uh five kilowatts on there 18 miles per hour as well and it's only gonna be two slots if you guys are on consoles uh by the way there's only a couple color options to choose from black white or chrome and i hope you like red because that's on there as well i love it i think this is great super cool i would like to go ahead and get one real quick so we can show you guys what it looks like so you do have to turn it on um it handles like a dream yes sir i would maybe like to titanize this i think that would be great i don't know why i'm sitting here pulling back on the handlebars expecting myself to do a wheelie uh you can get some air so that's pretty cool and uh maybe we can crash it as well <laughs> maybe another time <laughs> How's about some headers? Well, the John Deere 600 FD and 700 FD pack is officially here from Agritono. This is one of the first mods to go into testing. However, it took one of the longest to go through, unfortunately, but it is here and we're ready to go. You take a look at combinations. Uh, they are recommending that you use the X9 for all of these. So heads up there, they do have different header trailers. So choose the one that you need to as far as customization for the 630 fd this is going to be a 9.1 meter width of course everything's at six miles an hour we do have the air bar on there that's very nice to have a couple different options and designs there and then uh we could also change up a few colors as well let's change that up which does nothing <laughs> can i get your design bar on on the uh air bar right here so you can change the bar itself and you can change the uh, hoses as well we have four different versions 9.1 10.6 12.2 and even a 13.7 design so if you're looking for something bigger that you can run with your x9 that does have an air bar well this is going to be the one for you guys as far as console players slot counts are going to be 9 9 10 
and 11. Next, we've got the Nice VA pack from Vertex Design. This is a pack of animal trailers for you guys. Only customization on the front. Our first one's going to be your license plate. However, you can change was this Trillaborg and BKT. Otherwise, no other changes can be made. As far as your animals go for the smaller VA6, you got six cows, 10 pigs, and you've got nine sheep. As far as your larger trailer, you've got eight cows, 12 pigs, and 12 sheep. So a little bit different numbers through there. Check them out. Uh, they're very, very nicely high quality detail looking very good on both of these and they're both only two slots a very popular baler from farming simulator 19 is back this is the galignani 9250 sl from pepe 978 actually just a few days ago he released his fiat agri 19080 so this would work really good with that as well this is going to make different bell sizes between 125 centimeters and 150 centimeters so this will not do the 180s only the two smaller versions 90 horsepower required as we mentioned nine mile per hour max speed it is a little bit of a slower working speed so heads up there and it is going to be four slots for you guys on consoles we can change up the wheels between standard and wide tire and then we start with the base game gray but we can also do orange to match green to match silver or black to be honest i think green's the move Orange doesn't really match very well. <laughs> Your next new mod for all platforms is simply just called Logger. And man, does this thing look good. Yes, sir. Uh, this is from Farm Sim World and FS Modding. This is going to hold all of your uh, stuff. So uh, it's 6.7 tons. However, on the uh, website says 20 tons, which I think is a little bit ex excessive. Uh, we'll go and change up main color. You can change it whatever you like. And we've also got rim colors that look to have been possibly copied off of uh, the base game trucks i think so uh, nonetheless this is for running with logs and stuff like that so check it out it does have straps on here so it'll hold everything nice well for you oh and it's only three slots so very small there here's one that we had a very similar version of this in farming simulator 19 good to see it back here in 22 as well the lizard short timber trailer oh yeah so as far as uh, features go 7.5 tons and it's going to be two slots on consoles main color we'll change that to yellow that's going to be your frame and then let's go with a nice blue for design color that's good whatever parts those are called and then of course rim color is rim color they have taken those same base colors that everybody's giving plus they've given us the option to choose whatever colors we like We've even got a license plate. It's pretty cool. Actually, this color combo doesn't look too bad. I mean, it's tacky, but it's not too bad. This one's kind of neat. From AAA Modding, we have the WM185 Mower. This is going to be available in Kloss as well. I guess Kloss. Uh, I didn't recognize that color for Kloss. But yeah, here you go. It is a smaller mower. Uh, I don't think we've got any Kloss tractors that this would match up very well with but we do have some smaller tractors that this would work great with. Regardless, weighs about half a ton, 26 horsepower, 1.9 meter working with 13 miles per hour. So full working speed on here. That's nice to see. And it's only gonna take up two slots. Another one that we had in Farming Simulator 19 from AM Modding, who is now Sevy Modding. They have released their Spanish Bell trailer, the Lizard PLT 6 Hundred. This is going to have a 2.8 ton weight and three slots on consoles. Will Brands, we've got uh, Nokian. We also have Trolleborg. Doesn't look like we can change up either one of those. And we got a license plate. This is a Bell trailer at the end of the day. No color being changed, nothing like that. No rim color. Uh, it is what it is. I will say the detail, I can't zoom in far enough. It's pretty far out zoom on this. But the detail along the very bottom is extremely high. And I could tell that from all the way back here. So if you want something with a lot of detail that is a real piece, check this out. From North Bonnet Company, we have their Lizard Road Scraper. And already you're probably looking at this going, uh, how do I, I don't, I don't understand. Cause I was that way as well. Uh, this is a road scraper handy tool for using on your logging forwarder. Use the forwarder grapple to grab the Lizard Road Scraper behind to clear and clean the road. Um, I don't know why we would need to, but hey, great for role play and stuff like that. But it actually works too. In the shop, you can either buy the plow uh, cultivator version or keep it as standard. So we have standard, we have the road scraper plow and the plow plus cultivator. So you can 
great builds and all kinds of stuff with this, which is super, super cool. They say this will not have any functioning game other than moving tree branches out of the way for the plow and co or that's the uh, standard rather. For the plow cultivator version, you can enter the road scraper to enable allow create fields, just like a standard plow. Very cool, five meters spread on here and it's gonna cost you 2,400 bucks. We do have color options as well, which is super nice to see. Change it up however you want. Did I see like a, did I, hold up. Did I see a, oh, it's a rotten nah, blue. You could make that match. I was about to say, that looks a whole lot like Gohan blue to me. If you ever wanted different options for Joskin trailers, this is going to be the pack that you want to download. The Joskin Drakkar pack. There are four different models of this. Ranging from, well, pretty substantial as a matter of fact, almost 30,000 liters for that, all the way up to 42,500. This is from LS Agrar Ollie, and let's take a look at them. All of them are gonna be four slots, so you can, don't have to choose between slottage there. First one holds either 28,000 or 29,500. You can go back and forth between there. Will Brands, Trelleborg, Michelin, BKT, Friedstein, and then you've got different wheel setups for each one. These are all gonna have the same wheel options, which is nice to see, and they all have extensions that extend, it looks like by one and a half. Well, this one only extends by a half. You know what's funny? <laughs> just just take a look at this. So this small extension, not small, same size on all of them. This increases by 1500, right? This one, which is substantially larger, not height-wise, but length-wise, also increases by 1500. This one, only increases by 500 <laughs> and this one increases by 1500 again so i don't know if there was some math that was done wrong or maybe something like that uh this is almost twice the size of the other one so this should decrease at least by 3000 uh, nitpicking at this point regardless check these out the joskin draka pack if you've just been dying to use the base game trailers for farming simulator 19 well uh, here we go. Eric FS has released the Forshred HW80 trailer. Uh, you've got Lizard, Trelleborg, Michelin tire, so nothing out of the ordinary there. Uh, these look like they were basically taken straight over from 19. You've also got main color options, which is nice to see. You've got design options, which is nice to see. And we've got room color options, which is nice to see. Um, I don't think the trailer was gray in Farm Sim 19. Uh, and that is stuck. You cannot change that gray color, which does kind of stink. It is what it is. It's also four slots, which is a little bit high for something like this, but that is what it is. From Tarsio 007, we have all viable production pallets pack. And yes, all. When they say all, they, they really did mean it. Uh, if you want to produce something for yourself, but only need one ingredient for your cake recipe or something like that, or you just want to buy cake in general, real cake, by the way, this is this is not fictional cake. Uh, well, here you go. This is it. Go to your all viable productions palette pack. Uh, everything we've got bread, you've got boards, butter, cake, canola oil, cereals, cheese, chocolate. Ooh, I need some chocolate. We also have clothes, eggs, fabric, flour. Ooh, that's my favorite. Furniture, <laughs> grape juice, grape palette, honey palette. Yes. Lettuce palette, we've got the olive oil, raisins, strawberries, sugar, sunflower oil, tomatoes, and wool. Cool. Yep, that's basically it. Uh, I know a lot of you guys, like myself, are absolutely infatuated with flour, and here you go. <laughs> you can buy a pallet of flour. Uh, these are all going to range between two and three slots, depending on what you get. Uh, it's kind of random how it's done, but just choose what you like, and... You're good to go. Also prices, be very, very aware of your prices. Sometimes these can be good, sometimes not so good. Just be ready. We're gonna take our scooter and first person here over to our next mod from 20mm Normandy from DMI. So this is Dutch Monic Inc. The Placeable Dairy Farm Pack. This right here is going to include five different placeables from right to left. We've got three different calf igloos, which are placeable. Do whatever you want to with them. We do have a wheelbarrow as well, which is cool. And it's dirty. And you've even got a slurry mix as well. So this is a Venue slurry mix. It is branded, so it can look like it's supposed to be there. Now I've got my cattle area here. We've got the base game Horman. So you could take this stuff, place them around that area and make it look kind of realistic. I like that. I think it's a super cool idea. 
hey more options very cool our next mod today includes a uh an apology for me i guess the wholesale from zodal socked i think it was yesterday or two days ago that they released a mod for pc only as they did regularly in farming simulator 19. uh they were very very involved with the global company stuff well this is for all platforms they say that at this wholesale all products from the base game can be sold so i have uh carefully balanced this is how they came this uh, let's not talk about it uh anyway let's uh let's find out so i've got a thousand liters of furniture and it's selling yes sir let's go over here we'll see what is this what is this i have no idea was this chocolate chocolate 1000 liters of chocolate selling just fine how's about liquid fertilizer does it want to buy my liquid fertilizer ha <laughs> ha no it does not <laughs> no liquid fertilizer it is a product and i'm not getting it's not being able to be sold how's about some silage additive oh it's gone yep that made money uh, and then, uh, we, last week we got some grapes, which are extremely heavy. Come on, please. Oh, it's stuck in the ground. Uh, I wonder if I could drag it over there. Sure can. Uh, barely. Yeah, this is one of the fun parts about using PC mods. Sometimes they just don't work quite right. Like this one is stuck in the ground. I, I can't do anything with that. It's useless. Uh, regardless, this will take pretty much almost everything. Uh, they also say that contract workers can target this point of sale as well, although they may have a good time because those workers like to um, will crash. And because this is an L shape, they may run into some problems. Nonetheless, I will say the detail on this is quite good. Uh, it doesn't start to blur until you get right up close to it, but from here, looks phenomenal, looks good, looks old, looks used. Hey, I'm down for it. Your next to last new mod for all platforms today is a mod that's in the wrong category. Yet again, uh, this is not a selling point. It's an old fuel station where you can buy fuel. Uh, this should be in containers or tools. Uh, they say that it's in selling points. It is not. Um, if you go in, you'll be able to find it very, very easily in buildings. And I thought it was containers. Maybe it was productions, factories, something. Uh, tools very likely yeah it's in tools so there you go it's there uh do not go off of what the website says again another probably issue with translation something like that regardless uh the fuel stations at the end of the day that's what they are yep uh you can buy fuel Ta -da! and your last new mod today for all platforms has been a favorite for a couple games in a row now the manure and slurry dealer pack from puma 145 the versions that i've got in front of you right now are just the points of sale. So if you bring manure over here, you can dump it in there, you're good. You can bring slurry or digestate, I think, over here, and you're good to go. Actually, as a matter of fact, we should probably double check that real quick. Digestate, where can we sell? Digestate, show me where you are. Here you are. Uh, let's see, wholesale. Um, but no, you can't do anything here, So, uh, but you can sell digestate over there, so that's pretty nice. So nothing with digestate here. Now. The cool thing is, these are just the selling points. We've also got buying points and we've got uh, storage as well. So you don't have storage for manure, unfortunately, at least that I've seen. Uh, however, if we go in, I can't remember exactly where all these are. I know we've got some in silos. So if you go in here to silos, uh, nope, that's the base game manure silo. Here they are. So I say here, here it is. So there's your silo for your slurry. And if we go into productions and we go to factories, we've also got the stuff here as well. Apologize, a little. The, this pack could get a little bit confusing. So you've got your place right there where you can also buy. So this is all five, uh, not six, but five. Of course, there's no way to store manure, just dump it in a pile. Jumping over to updates for all platforms. We've got two of them for you today. The first one's gonna be the self-made bell fork. This hooks up, well, it says miscellaneous. Uh, if we go out, I'm, I have no idea. Um, the change log right here, version 1.001. Description has been adjusted. Multifunctional attacher has been added. Store icon and mod description has been changed. So if they're saying that, 
it looks like probably use this with a front loader, a telehandler, or three point. Um, it would be nice that it says it, maybe at the top right hand corner there, but um, don't let it be confusing. Looks like those are going to be the three options. And we also have an update to the government drain. This is going to be Change Dog version 1.01. Adjusted the prices to much lower as some were way too high. That sounds like a terrible thing to do. They also adjusted the door animation to be faster and added Italian and Polish translations. So there you go. Uh, this is kind of nice because you could just throw it on your map and disregard some few things. Uh, you got water, milk, slurry, digestate, liquid fertilizer, herbicide, and diesel. Those are all the things that could be sold here. Uh, pretty cool. Making our way into new mods for PC and Mac players. And actually an extra one has a release since I made the intro video. So uh, we've got a new map, but not first. We've got the Franquent. I don't know how to say this. Frank Franquent? Uh, it's Synchro Mix. This is a subsoil or uh, disc arrow rather. And then we have a magic thing that does uh, maybe the say I don't know. It's a cultivator. Uh, you could use this as a front tool or a rear tool. Uh, both of these options, as a matter of fact, they're going to be four meters wide, eight miles per hour. This one's going to be nine miles per hour on the disc arrow. Otherwise, no customization other than that. The details are very nice. Would be nice to see this for all platforms, but. Um, this seems like something that may be a little bit high poly. Second new mod for PC and Mac players today is the Birchman TSW6240W. I, for the life of me, can't figure out why this is on PC only. This seems like something that would be very easy to get on consoles as well. Uh, so there must be some stuff going on in the background. Nonetheless, this is going to be a manure spreader. Does manure and lime, which is nice. 19,500 liter capacity. We can increase that to 21.5. Uh, and you can change up a few things with that as well. You can even go up to 25 if you want to. So there's quite a few different customization options on here. That's nice to see. Will Brands, Trailer Bork, Michelin Tires, BKT, Vrad Stein. Very cool there. Designs, got some different protections, spreading systems. You've got the uh, limiter to the right, limiter to the left, standard. And that's pretty cool to see right there. We've also got green or black options and a license plate. You're gonna need 220 horsepower to power this and it has a 24 meter spread at nine miles per hour. And the surprise mod, your last mod today, this release for PC and Mac players about halfway through recording the mod video, New Bodder Saga in 2022 from ATZEVR. Uh, welcome New Bodder Saga 2022, a small town in Grabauer Buden. Probably messed that all up. All standard functions of Farm Sim 22 are installed. There's 16 fields. Yes, they are all absolutely mahusive. You've got a horse pasture pigsty, livestock trading, and all multi fruit silo. You got two courtyards, BGA, sawmill, restaurant, carpentry, oil mill, grain mill, and spinning mill or spinnery, as it were. Let's take a look at the PDA. Here it is. And what do we start with? Well, we start with one of the smallest fields on the map. Field number 22, we also have the horse area right here, which I think was the cow pasture back in Farming Simulator 19 and 17, something like that. We've also got the area that has your horse on it and the area that's got your little baby piggies. This right here is going to be your uh, courtyard area or one of the ones that it talked about. Your other one's going to be right here. And I really, really like the courtyards on this map. So this is the first one right here. I've always been a huge fan of this. This was one of the first ones I loaded up in Farms of 17. It was really, really cool. By the way, this is one of the first maps to be released to Farms of 19 as well to be converted over. You've got a bunch of stuff here. You've got all of your standard sheds that you're used to seeing. So no custom sheds like we've seen in the past. And we start with very, very minimal stuff. If we go in and take a look at what we've got owned, well, we've got a John Deere 7810. If that's your only tractor. You've got a T560, which is fine. No, no worries there. You do have a pickup truck. Probably get rid of that immediately. You do have a smaller tipper, nice header, small cultivator, small cedar, header trailer, and two weights, which is real confusing. See, where's the other weight? Oh, that's, that's fun. Anyway, so you've got that. You've also got down here your second farmyard, which is actually my favorite. This had a really cool custom shed on it in 17 and 19. One of my favorites ever. It was one of the first times I ever saw a place for parking semi-trucks, but unfortunately that is gone and they've gone with a new shed setup. Nonetheless, there you go. That is New Bottle Shotgun. It is here for PC and Mac players. I'm not sure why it's not here for console players. I will do my best to find out. Otherwise, 
I, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out from there. And I'll figure out the outro from here. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed to Chump if you're new and join the GoHam fam. Make sure your notification bells are on as well. That way you never miss any future videos here on the channel. Also, don't forget channel members get early access to all Let's Plays here on the channel as well as an exclusive Discord. So if you'd like to join the GoHam fam or be a channel member, we'll leave a link in the description below for you guys to check out. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.